Hey guys, it's Griff, and today we're going to talk about Phantasmal Cremation and Path of Building. The goal here is to, by the end of the video, you should be able to completely uh, and properly configure your Path of Building for your character, for your Phantasmal Cremation. Because, let's be real, Path of Building doesn't do a very good job at uh, facilitating the skill and how we use it. So that all out of the way let's just get right into it we're going to start by going to poe ninja grabbing one of these guys playing phantasmal cremation and poison uh i'm going specifically for like a, an original sin person because you know who wants to look at the uh, old builds yeah okay anyways the concept will be the same regardless so we'll just pick a guy copy their path of building code here go to our path of building nice little blank slate import right click and import it and boom here we go this is what we're starting with now it's not super complicated but there are some nuances that you do need to know let's begin with the first step we go to skills cremation and check this box that says include in full dps go down here you can see there's some numbers down there that don't look very impressive that's okay the way cremation the skill works is it has up to three geysers placed at a time. Each geyser will fire its entire amount of projectiles per second. Okay, so we need to figure out what that projectile count is. And to do that, the easiest way is you go to calcs, look at cremation, look at skills type specific stats. And you can see the projectile count here is 11. And it'll even tell you where they all came from. Got some from uh, cremation gives plus three. Greater multiple projectiles is plus four. And then you've got, uh, I got plus three from the tattoos. And then you have one that's the base of cremation. Okay, so that's 11 total. And you have three geysers. <clears throat> so what we do is we do 11 times three, which is 33. Good job, class. All right, now that's out of the way. We got to do some other things. So let's go ahead and go to the configuration box. Get rid of all these red ones. They don't matter. I'm going to set the is the enemy a boss from Guardian Pinnacle. I'm actually going to set that to Uber Pinnacles. And the reason I do this is because with damage over time builds, there is a dot cap of like 35 million DPS, give or take. It's like 35 point something. But the way Uber bosses work is they take less damage. And that dot cap does not apply to the less damage, right? So you can continue to scale your damage. So if you're doing the dot cap against Guardians, and then you switch to Uber Pinnacles, you might be doing a third of the damage or 30% of the damage or whatever. But that means, as a dot player, someone who's playing damage over time and is restricted in our DPS by the servers, we can continue to scale our damage up uh, to get to that, like, dot cap against Uber Pinnacles. So you'll hear me say that sometimes. Oh yeah, my build is dot capped versus Uber Pinnacles because I want to make a point to say, yeah, I got damage... Because 36 million DPS versus Uber Pinnacles is a lot of damage. And you can see that in uh, one of my previous videos uh, from Sanctum League when I was doing an Uber showcase. They melt. So that's why I like to set this to Uber Pinnacle bosses. And you should, should note that the enemy level is 85 for these. And that is important for the next step. So what we want to do now is set cremation to corpse explosion. And we see this little box here. It says enemy corpse life. Well, what the heck do we put in this? Well, that's where the unearth corpse life comes in. To figure that out, we go back to calculations, find unearth. And once again, we go to the skill type specific stats all the way to the bottom. You have your corpse life, 208,562. It even gives you the calculation on the right. You really want to dig into the math. So we take this number, 208562, and we plug it into here. Bada bing, bada boom. 
So there we go. We have the corpse life. We have the projectile counts. Now we should probably go through and just tick all these boxes. So do you use endurance charges? Yes, we do, because if we look at the tree, we can see he's got enduring composure. Then we aren't dodging mechanics, so we're always going to get hit, right? Check that box. Ignore all of these. Nearby corpses, we set that to 10. Uh, the reason we want to set that to 10 is for Essence Glutton. That cares about, and it's just like ES regen and mana regen. And then also Plaguebringer cares about having nearby corpses. You do 10% more damage when there's a corpse nearby, and you take 10% reduced damage when there's a corpse nearby. So that's important. Have you been hit recently? Yeah, we don't dodge things. Spawned a corpse? Obviously. Consumed a corpse? Definitely consumed a corpse in the past two seconds. Yes. Number of corpses consumed recently. I leave this blank because it doesn't actually affect anything, but if you really want to, you'd set that to 100, but... We'll leave it blank uh, for a reason that I will get into momentarily. Now we go to skill options. You can mess with like, you know, your cruelty buff. Like if you're doing uber pinnacles, this might actually only be like 30% against an uber boss, right? Uh, frost shield, I like to stage up to four. And then uh, those don't matter. Withered stacks, I'm going to set to 15. But Griff, how do you get withered? Well... If we look at the items, we can see he's using a Balance of Terror. Inflict Withered for 2 seconds on hit if you've cast Despair in the past 10 seconds. So you cast Despair, and then for 10 seconds, you have a buff that says you inflict Withered on hit for 2 seconds. And since we have, you know, 50 plus hits per second between the spell part of the Cremation Hit projectiles, the Unearth spam, and the explosions that Cremation is causing on the Unearth. Like, you're getting 15 stacks in less than a second. Or the, or the thing is dead, right? So it's very safe to assume that we have 15 stacks of Withered. Uh, they're not ignited because we're doing full chaos damage. They are shocked, but Path of Building is already taking that into account. On Consecrated Ground, it's fine if he's using, like, Bottled Faith or whatever he is. And I think that's it for boxes to check. A nerve, we don't do spell damage. It's just, it doesn't do anything, so don't worry about getting it. I know somebody's going to ask me that question. No, spell damage effects do not do anything for us. Not only are we poison, and it really doesn't do anything for that, but also we're scaling off a of corpse explosions, which again, is not a spell damage thing. Don't worry about that. If you want to click this button here, disable EHP gain on block slash suppress, like right now, you can see the effective hit pool is infinite, which, while cool, um, doesn't really help. <laughs> doesn't help if you're trying to make upgrades to make yourself tankier or whatever. So I go, I like to click that button and say, hey, yeah, okay, 639,000. That's a really, that's a pretty respectable effective hit pool when you don't have the block recovery taken into account. We got a tanky boy, almost 200k elemental max hit, 36k fizz hit, pretty good. So this is the configuration for cremation here. Now there's one more thing we got to do. And that is, wow, look at all this damage, 48 million. However, if we go to spell on the cremation, you can see that the cast rate is 1.87. Now this is where path of building kind of gets kind of a little sussy. 1.87 is literally giving 87% more damage in the full DPS. Now I've seen some path of buildings of like the old crit versions that are like, this is 200 million DPS, but it's actually like 34 because of path of building is just kind of screwing things up. So what you do, which is, is really easy. We just type in cremation has, I'm going to start with 50% reduced cast speed. You see what it does to here. So cast ray is 1.01. Uh, what a, I know, yeah, he's got action speed on his boots. So what I like to do here is if they, if there's something weird where you have like that 1.01, we'll just do like 1% increased action speed and note that this does not do anything else like for the DPS. This is just so I can get a nice, even one cast per second. So in this case, it's 51%. Everyone's will differ. Now, if you set this little bar here to 100, now it's 4.5 cast per second. And you just have to put a little 2 in front of this, and there you go. 
251% reduced cast speed. The goal, excuse my rambling, the goal is to get to exactly one cast per second. Okay? That's the goal. Now, once you have that, type it into here. Now, the way this is working is we know, again, and I explained this earlier, that cremation geysers fire all of their projectiles over one second. With three geysers and 11 projectiles, that's 33 projectiles per second. And with unearthed spamming, we're detonating all of those corpses. So we're detonating 33 corpses per second, and they all overlap on whatever it is that you want dead. So that's the way we're getting to our 33 explosions per second. That's why we've got it set to 33 in the skills section, etc. We're going to go back to corpse explosion, and we can look down here. Now that full DPS dropped from 48 to 42.4. Now the full dot DPS is still... Still in effect, 35.8 million DPS. That is the cap. That is the limit. You can't go higher than that in the game because it just, you can't. The servers will not allow it. Now, if you want to have some uh, cremation measuring contests as far as, you know, your actual, like, top, top DPS, what you can do is go to, like, Guardian and then set the Delirious to 100%. And this is basically what your damage is going to be like in Simulacrum's Waves 20 and on. And you can see here, his DPS for that is 28.8 million. So if you wanted to increase your damage further for the purposes of like simulacrums or something like that, that's what you would, uh, that's what you would check right there. Uh, you would have to also adjust the corpse life ever so slightly. It's not a huge difference, but like, you know, between 84 and 85, again, we go to unearth. Oh, now it's 201, 146. And that's because the life scales with the level of the area. 201 146 well, that's a little bit different than than this 201 let's say it was 146 very slightly less damage 27.8 anyways and that's really it that's all you got to do again just to check off some boxes real quick you want to make sure that you are set clicking the full dps with your total projectile count per second you want to make sure your cremation cast speed or cast rate is one per second so that path to building doesn't over rate your DPS or under. And then you just want to make sure you're checking all the corpse specific boxes and have this, you know, cremation reduced cast speed again, get it to exactly one. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this sort of video, please leave a like and subscribe. If you want more videos regarding Phantasmal Cremation, uh, go ahead, leave a comment below and tell me what it is you want. We can figure something out. And with all that being said, we'll insert a catchy phrase here and peace out.